Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica Likewise, and I have 13 years of experience in the field of ABA, but I never became a BCBA and took my exam. I am currently studying for my exam before they change the criteria, and I no longer can. And in order, while I'm doing so, I am making videos so you can study along with me. So today we're gonna talk about the difference between an SD and an S Delta. <music> Hey guys, and welcome back. So as I said, today we're gonna to talk about the difference between an SD and an S-delta. So what is an SD? Well, an SD is just what triggers the behavior that reinforcement is available. So let's talk about Jenny. Jenny is uh, working with a four-year-old boy with autism, and she brings her iPad to sessions every day. So the boy sees the iPad and it works and it's charged and he says, I want iPad. And then Jenny gives him the iPad and lets him play on it. In that case, right, viewing the SD, which all the viewing the iPad all it up, well, that signaled to the boy, Ben, that reinforcement was available. He asked for the iPad and he got the iPad. That's what an SD is. And I have, there's many examples of what an SD is, right? If I say touch your nose, and the kid touches their nose, well then the SD is touch your nose. Reinforcement will be provided for the behavior of touch your nose. So what is an S delta? Well, S delta signals a condition in which reinforcement is not available for a specific behavior. So let's just say Jenny brought her iPad and she pulls it out of the bag and the battery is dead. Well, the dead battery on the iPad is creating an S delta. So the, the, the iPad is now functioning as an S delta. It's signaling to Ben that reinforcement is not available. So if he asks for the iPad, he's not gonna get it. So he's much less likely, right, to ask for the iPad, at least in a perfect theoretical clinical world, than maybe not in real life, but he's less likely to ask for the iPad if the iPad isn't working, right? Because then the iPad is not an SD for asking for the iPad, it's an S delta. It's signaling that reinforcement is not available for the behavior. So another example, like when I said, touch your nose, if he touches his head, he's not going to get reinforcement, right? So touch your nose is an SD if the child touches their nose, signaling reinforcement's available for that condition, but it's an S delta for touching your head or jumping up and down because re signals reinforcement is not available for that condition. So I'm gonna give you one more example. So again, just to make this clear, an SD signals reinforcement's available and S delta signals reinforcements not, not available. So let's look at a really clear example of this. Let's talk about Georgia. Georgia is a special education teacher and her kids love to paint, but it is a mess for her to clean up. So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna let them do it sometimes, but sometimes I'm not gonna let them do it. So she prints up a big picture of paint with a smiley face and it's green and it's on her blackboard and the kids see that and that is an SD for them asking to paint. They know when that sign is up, that reinforcement is available, they're able to paint. Well, she all, sometimes Georgia also doesn't have time to stay after class or you know, maybe later in the day, they don't have the ability to paint. So sometimes painting is not available. So then Georgia prints up a picture of paint and it's red and it has a sad face and it's crossed off. And then she puts that on the chalkboard when painting is not available. So when the kids see that sign, they know reinforcement is not available. If they ask her painting, they're not gonna get it because painting is not available. So in that case, that sign is an S delta. It's showing that reinforcement is not available if they ask for painting. So I hope that really makes things clear. It's, it may seem a little confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. Again, just remember SD, reinforcement available, S delta, reinforcement not available. So I hope this video has helped you study Subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be putting out videos just like this every day while I'm studying because we're in this together and I want you to study along with me. Have a great evening and I'll see you guys on the next video.